reflections on the day? Yeah, I've been down there. That was probably the fifth time, and I'd recommend to every everybody to go see it. But it's just so it never gets easier. It's not a happy place to be. It's chronological. It brings you back to exactly where you were from the time you found out the planes were hijacked, or the North Tower was hit, you know, the South Tower, the Pentagon, and Flight 93, and, and up, you know the rebuilding process. It's common to run into first responders who were there, family members who lost loved ones. It's, it's just a very emotional place. It's it's um. It's really powerful. I love going down there and it won't be the last time I go. We'll take it around the table, Kimberly. Yes, you know, this is powerful. It really just comes back. It's like 14 years like it happened. Uh, you know, yesterday I was on a, a plane actually at the time when this happened and we had to uh, ground the plane in London at Heathrow. It was on an American Airlines flight at the time. They weren't sure if our flight was one of the ones that was compromised. It was just a very frightening time and then finding out what had happened and then being stranded, not being able to get back into the country for over a week because of what had happened. Um, you may just think about the people who have uh, lost loved ones and, you know, the, the pain and the, the suffering, the heartache, it, you know, will just never go away. And in days like today, you hope and you pray that, yes, this nation never forget. Geraldo, um, have you ever talked about that? That moment? We did briefly. We did on uh, Fox and Friends uh, when Rob first appeared. But I, I tell you, brother, I, I still link you and your colleagues the history. I, I just what you did is something as full Americans, every freedom loving person in the world owes you a tremendous debt of gratitude. Did you know at the time, or did you feel a sense that you were avenging the 3,000? We knew that we were going because the people that died on 9 11. We knew that they went to work on a Tuesday morning. The sky was low. They were supporting their family. They were supposed to be casualties in the long chair war that they didn't know we were fighting. Um, so when we talked about the chance of us not coming back on the to kill us on the lot, we knew we, we, we knew probably wouldn't, but we accepted that because we're doing it for the people. That, the, the jumpers, we're not allowed to talk about the jumpers now because apparently it's too realistic. It happened. A lot of them jumped because it's better than burning a lot. Uh, we talked about them, that's why we're going, and that's why we're going to do this. We accept it to death because we're going to die anyway. We're going to die eventually. these people. I was there. I watched the jump person, and I also want to thank you for what he did. So, Rob, I, you talked extensively about your training, the, like, the lead up to, to the, the shot that night. You talked about the intel that went into, uh, into, into getting the, the Bin Laden shot. Are we right now more prepared, less prepared, or equally as prepared as when you did it for the next Bin Laden, whoever he or she? Well, it seems like a lot of places in this country have forgotten what happened. They, they forget to admit there are people that are out there that believe in ideology and want to kill us because we don't believe what they believe. They're out there right now, and I'm seeing the same kind of pattern. We are aware that can be a catastrophic uh, hit here, but they're kind of pushing it aside. What's happening right now in Syria and Iraq, there's staging for a spot where they can plan for it, and even the stuff with the, uh, the immigrants or the, the migrants, whomever, uh, the, the rest of it. We're, not, we're not allowed to say that there could be terrorism. There could be, and not all of them. We are no I wasn't prepared. We have the intel. So yes, we always have. We've always been a strong. Some people are a little bit tired because they have been playing quite a bit. When asked to go to action, they're just ready. It's just a question: Has the world's people ready? Are we going to admit that there's still a threat out there? Are we going to handle it differently? Okay. Do, do you Greg, feel can I get Greg in here? Sure, sure. No, I, I want to talk about the threat. And we keep saying over and over again every year: never forget. But there's one thing we always forget: we were surprised. Um, this was not part of our calculation. 9-11 was the failure of our own imagination. We never thought that this could happen, that a bomb runner could turn a plane into a missile. And what hurts my head when I think about this is that 9-11 was almost necessary to prevent another greater 9-11. The forces to think about these things and to think more imaginatively because the next threat is going to be nothing like this. My question to you is that when you are in a discussion and you mention that you killed Bin Laden, how many people don't believe and if you ever have to pull up the Google yourself, <laughs> well, it's not so much the I killed the lot thing because I'll be the first to admit that I didn't do anything on this entire thing up until the end. It's good based on the position. I was following really cool guys, watching them do really cool stuff. Yeah. Hold that thought for a moment. Absolutely. We have breaking news from your home state. Um, we've, uh, this is something we can report now. This is something we can report now. GOP presidential candidate Rick Perry is about to drop out of the 2016.